Did you yeah, ever, did you ever fall for any fake babas? You ever get sucked into that? Um, I mean, I don't want to speak ill of anybody, yeah, of course. <laughs> but I do. I, I, yeah, I mean, I definitely like looked up to a lot of people, um, even in the Maharaji kind of circle, you know, just to be honest, um, that I was just like, whoa, you know, and then when I met them, I was just really let down. Um, but, you know, obviously that's like a huge issue. Um, you know, I was actually just talking about it with my wife last night a little bit. Um, you know, it's just, it's, especially I think, you know, now in this, in these times, like of this just kind of like guru marketplace and like, it's so hard. It's so confusing for us to um, know who to not like follow, but like, just like, you know, if you fall in love with somebody, I think it's just about falling in love with somebody. I don't, I don't want to say follow. I think it's kind of weird, but like, you know, you, you fall in love with someone even if they're not a guru or like a mm -hmm. whatever, they could just be a friend or like whatever. You fall in love with somebody and then, you know, that person, whatever, does something that maybe is outside of your image of them mm -hmm. or lets you down. It's just so um, – it's hard to navigate. You know, I've met so many – I personally haven't – you know, I've been, I think, luck lucky. I'm very grateful to, um, I guess, have just humble teachers, mm -hmm. you know. But um, I, I unfortunately know a lot of friends that had, like, very bad personal experiences. Mm -hmm. Like, very bad. Like, sexual, like, misconduct or, um, yeah, just all sorts of shit, you know. So it's really hard to deal with. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Especially when it comes to like something as fragile as like spirituality. spirituality. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like that's the tough thing. Yeah, that's when you're really vulnerable to someone and they just, they, they exploit that for some weird sexual yeah. thing or something. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's, it's when it has to do with the spiritual, obviously it's like, you know, there's just any old Joe Schmo, you know, you're like, Oh, whatever. It's horny bastard or mm -hmm. whatever, you know, but when you're w with somebody that it has to do with, you know, really just opening up your heart and mm -hmm. kind of leading you, leading you down a path that you, you know, it's, I don't or know. Like it's just, if they take brahmacharya vows in India, I mean, yeah. that's actually something you can go to jail for. Really? Um, yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty crazy. Like, we just did a, me and JR did a podcast yesterday with a girl who considers herself an ex cult member of Nityananda. Uh -huh. Do you know who Nityananda is? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was, she was telling us all kinds of crazy things like uh, rape, pedophilia. I mean, kidnapping. Yeah. Yeah. Was, we talked for two hours and we didn't even get into the murder. Yeah, like yeah, he's the one too. that um, isn't he like um, in exile in like a country in like yeah. Africa or something? He's in somewhere in or, South America. Yeah. Oh, South America. That's nobody right. really well, knows yeah. where they he don't is. know for sure. But yeah. 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 My, I have a friend, a Bengali friend, um, who loves to post videos of some of his speeches and as a joke, but you yeah. know, you watch it and you like laugh, but then you're also like horribly disturbed too. Yeah. It's like this weird. Yeah. Um, she was worried that it could turn into like Jonestown or. Yeah. That's know. the scary thing. She even said that he idolized Osho and made everybody watch Wild Wild and John, Country. And uh, R, R. L. L. Ron Hubbard? Yeah, L. Ron Hubbard. He has all of his books right. and is into Scientology. Yeah. And plays yeah. the, some of those tactics on you know his devotees. Yeah, that's that shit freaks me out, man. I was like I, I was so interested for some sick reason. Not sick reason, maybe it was good. Like I was so I am very interested in like cults and stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, I remember like the welcome to Jonestown, like documentary. And, um, I've seen it like so many times, but I'd watch it with swamis in the temple and we would just talk about it. And, 
but I just, I think for me, it's just like, I was just like, how did that happen? How did this many people drink Kool-Aid with their children and parents and like that, I don't, it just blows my mind, it, you know, I, or like, um, like Waco, um, I've seen a few documentaries about Waco and then, you know, Wild Wild Country was such a good documentary as well, but I've, I've always been like fascinated in that type of thing or like, or like drugs Inc or something, you know, like on, <laughs> on that geo. Cause I'm like, yo, like this is a reality for some mm -hmm. people. Like this is where they live, like in their heads and bodies. And it's so far from my like little world of music and like Ram Ram, you know? So I, it's just, uh, I don't know why I'm interested in those types yeah, of I things. Yeah, I don't know what's, how, like, is it just like a, some sort of herd mentality that's getting psychologically hijacked by some charismatic guy? And I mean, how do people fall for that? Desire. Desire. I don't know. Some I mean, people want power. To the point you're like, drinking Kool Aid with your kids and stuff. Yeah, that 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 that's where it's like. Yeah. Well, like how how does that? Yeah, I mean, how does that unfold? Detached from this have, reality for sure. I have no idea. Just like, maybe I think, you're like, like I think it happens in steps. I think it yeah, happens. Yeah. In it has steps. to, I guess. It's yeah, like, I mean, obviously, because like, like right away, step process. Yeah, but that shit. That, that shit was just, that freaks me out. Thank you for listening to A Place for Humans podcast. My name is Dakota Wint, and you can listen to full episodes of A Place for Humans anywhere you listen to podcasts. Spotify, Apple Podcast, wherever. And please head over to Apple Podcasts and leave us a positive review. That really helps. Anyways, catch you next episode. for humans.